if you guys are wondering why I'm so freaking excited today, it's because today I am building a YouTube studio. What's going on YouTube? It's your camera boy Jonah and I wish all of you the best in 2019. I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you how you can build a studio yourself. I'll try to do it as cheap as possible. The reason why I'm doing this is because I was always like looking for like a nice background, a nice setup. So follow me along the day to see how I build the studio and how you can build one yourself. Let's actually uh, show the starting point so you guys can follow along what I changed. So I'll quickly show you a little bit of my grip. So yeah, let's change it up to YouTube Studio. Alright, I'm gonna take you guys along to the shops where I'm gonna buy some supplies. I'm gonna show you what I already have. So we have these super cheap lights. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend them, but for now they will have to get the job done because I don't want to buy a bigger one. Yeah, but let's do get the supplies that we need today. Much better. Alright, so we are in shop number one. I'm uh, gonna try to find some cheap remote controlled LED lights here so I can uh, adjust the color to like the taste that I want. You know, change the mood of the video sometimes. So they have a lot of like the lights that I'm looking for here and they're like very cheap. Like this is like a two meter strip and it's like 10 euros. Or maybe for like background purposes you can use these ones. Like they're really small and they have batteries to put on cupboards and stuff. These are only like 3 euros. Alright, so first shop was uh, successful I think. This is 5 meters of like a changeable LED strip and the total was 3, 0, 30 euros. So that's a good start. Alright, so next stop. So I'm thinking between this guy over here because he will add like some positive vibes to the video which I guess everybody likes he is 40 euros but then I saw something else that I kind of really dig so it's a little bit more of an edgy vibe and it's a little bit bigger and I kind of love shooting flash and it's like a flash in both so I'm doubting between this one and that guy over there and I'm gonna think for five minutes and then I'm gonna decide which one I'm gonna take all right so we're in the, the third shop and uh, here I got a writable light box it's only like nine euros that's kind of chill because I can switch it up. Let's say if we have another team uh, each week, I can ride it on here or... Actually, no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, it seems fun, so I'm gonna buy it. So we get all the stuff we need. Let's start building. So this is how the room normally looks, with just like the normal lights on. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst, but like if you really want to have like nice lighting, you just can't do it with like normal light bulbs. And like the color as well isn't that nice sometimes or flattering. Now let's check out what all the changes make in the total of the room. All right, so let's start with turning off the normal lights and turning on the like very cheap light over there, but still it gets the job done because it's like a nice, just kind of like white, clean light, let's say. So let's check it out. As you guys saw there, the auto white balance of the camera had to adjust for a minute. So that's why it was like kind of blue first, because like these lights are actually like very orange, but because of like kind of like the good job of the auto white balance, uh, of the camera in the previous shots it didn't look that bad but in real life they are like super orange so yeah i guess in general it already kind of looks a lot better now so i use this light to light myself it's like my key light let's say uh actually also because i only use one light <laughs> i wanted to keep it cheap for you guys and also for myself in general i place it like in a 45 degree angle towards myself depending on where i sit 
in the area but sometimes if I just kind of want to like light up the entire room I just bounce it to the ceiling and it gives like a fairly okay light uh, it's not the best but in general I would say it's already much better than using the normal household lights now let's start with the fun part the lights that will kind of give more like atmosphere to the room So uh, let's turn them on and see what that does. All right, so these are the first ones. There are two LED strips and you can change the color so you can uh, adjust it to the style and the mood of the video. Most of the time I like this teal color because it makes a nice contrast with like uh, some of the orange lights that I will show you guys later. I'm just a fan of color teal in general. Or you can make them red if you want to go for a more passionate vibe. But in general I choose for the teal option just because I like it and because it makes like a nice contour with the orange slides that I will show you guys later. So here we have these two orange slides and they're actually just from Ikea. Maybe 15 euros together. And as you can maybe see in this shot it makes like a nice contrast with the teal. The orange of the lights in the background with the teal over there. And I really like the look and the contrast. That's a nice option to already give your video a little bit of like a more colorful, nice boost. So the next one is this flash. Let's uh, get it on. Woohoo! Damn! <laughs> so here we go. Here I am with my flash buddy. And I would say like get something that kind of matches your style or personality. For example, I like to shoot flash. So yeah, it kind of matches me. If you're like a black metal guy. Don't put unicorns in your YouTube studio, unless you're maybe like a brony. It's a term basically that refers to a fan in the same way that Trekker does for Star Trek or Whovian does for Doctor Who. That's totally fine with me. In general, kind of stick to something that fits your style and theme of your videos and your personality, I would say. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. And let's check out the other thing that I did to make this room more YouTuber. So this is how the room looks now and let me show you guys some of my favorite setups that I made here. Because that's kind of the best part, once you've uh, created some nice atmosphere in your room or studio let's say, you can create multiple settings by just changing uh, which wall you're facing and then changing your lights just like a little bit and you have like a whole new scene just to freshen up your videos a little bit. So let me give you guys a couple of examples of setups that you can potentially make in this room. All right, so here we have one of my favorite setups. It looks like this. My camera is here on a tripod. I am sitting over there. This light is angled towards my face. Then you have two nice lights in the background there that give like a nice bokeh light and a nice contrast with the teal vibes going on over there. So yeah, I really like the setup. And here is kind of like one of the first downsides of this cheap lamp. You can't control anything, you can't control the brightness, you can't control the temperature. It's kind of like a little bit hard on me because of the distance. I maybe should put it further. Maybe something that would help, so here's like a little tip for you guys, is pointing this light towards that wall actually. That way I have like a much bigger light source that will give me a much softer light on myself. You know what, maybe we should just try it out. So as you can maybe see now, this light is like a little bit softer. So uh, that might be like actually now a preferred look of mine. Instead of having the lights directly faced towards me, now it's pointing at the wall. I'll show you guys with my other camera how it looks. So this light bounces against the wall and then bounces back. This way it kind of becomes a much bigger light source, the entire wall is almost lighting me, but that's why it's softer 
So yeah, you have to play around a little bit with this kind of light because it doesn't allow you to change the brightness of the light. But I mean, it's like a 20 or 30 dollar light. You can't be mad about that and I still think you can get like great results with it. So let's go check out the next setup. Before we continue with this video, I would like to give a quick word to our sponsor and that is no one else than the lovely Chona. Thanks for having me here in your awesome studio. And as you guys maybe know, me and JC have our own brand of silver rings. Check them out and now let's continue with the video. So this is another one of my favorite setups. It looks kind of like this. And what I like about it is like, I kind of like these lines leading to me and I'm kind of like in the middle of it. What would make me make it even a little bit better? So I have this lamp on one side of me and I have the other one on another side of me. Like in the other setup, it's like symmetrical because you have lights on both sides. But on the other way, because like they're different in height, it's a little bit asymmetrical. And uh, yeah, I really like that look. That's something that I might improve for the next time I shoot in this setup. Another way I could potentially sit is maybe like this. Uh, it's maybe best to remove this then because now it's kind of like cutting in my head. You know what, let's do it. All right, that looks better without this thing sticking out of my head. It has like these lines again that like frame myself and then like this nice orange background, bokeh lights in combination with the teal from the LED strips that I have. So yeah, here's another setup. Ooh, this place is becoming so YouTuber. Guys, you know it, if you ever see the word YouTubeable in the dictionary, you know where it comes from. Don't forget, we're the OGs, we're the ones that invented the word YouTubeable. Probably, actually, it's all over YouTube already, uh, said by many YouTubers, but uh, if not, dictionary, woo, hit me up. So another setup that we could do is this one with like the flash and more kind of like a wide, clean background and the camera's over here. And I kind of use this light and just bounce it up to the ceiling back down on me in like this angle so it again it becomes like a little bit softer because one thing you have to keep in mind is that if you have like a very hard light source like in you for example then the flashlight will have like less of a impact on the shot it might not look so nice most of the time it looks nicer when the light is a bit softer a bit dimmer that's why i don't put it directly on me in this scenario but I make it kind of like a bigger, less bright light source this way. And this is how this setup looks. It's uh, kind of chill, I guess. It's kind of more like clean, you know, you just have like the white over there, the white, and it still has like a little bit of a tealish vibe because of the LED uh, strips over there. And then like the boom, flash to uh, give it that like extra touch. So yeah, really like this setup as well. I could go on and on like this, showing guys more setups that you could make. But I hope that you, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Important thing, let me just quickly grab something. Well, you maybe saw in the part where I was buying all these supplies that I also bought this light leather box. Uh, to be honest, I never used it. I was going to use it now for the first time, but you need AAA batteries for it and I don't have it. So I guess it will be unused again. Like and subscribe for more YouTube content. And I hope you guys enjoyed it that I tried to do it kind of like a cheap. Total cost was like 20 or 30 euros for the light. Then the RGPs for everything also around 20 or 30 euros. This was a bit more expensive. This was uh, 40 euros I think. It's also not necessary, it's just I liked it. You don't need it. I think you can already go a long way. Some kind of clean light where you can light yourself with and some kind of colored background lights just to give it like a nicer appealing look so this way you can use your money to travel to places where you can take awesome photos or to buy like a new lens because to be honest like this is not a priority for most people including myself so that's why i wanted to keep it cheapo see you guys in the next one